this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the ChatGPT4 model without having to pay the $20. Now, there's been a lot of controversies about people out there complaining that YouTubers create videos that mislead them into, you know, watching the full video or probably what is called a clickbait. They watch the whole video thinking they're actually going to get value for their time because they were expecting to get an alternative route, probably some technique you can use to bypass the whole system and actually get to use the ChatGPT4 model and at the end of the day they are disappointed that the video does not exactly show them that now in this video i am not about to show you an alternative where you can bypass or break some codes and actually use the chat gpt4 model i'm about to do something for you which would actually in fact help you now i use the chat gpt4 model as well as an alternative model i'm going to be showing you now there's something called the large language model all right now the chat gpt4 model uses a large language model which has also been incorporated into the other AI I'm going to show you, which is the Copilot. Now, the difference between Copilot and AI is that, in my opinion, it is even better. Now, I use the Chat GPT for as well as the Copilot, which is the Microsoft Bing AI. So I feel like I stand in a, a better position to actually make better judgment as to which work. You're watching this video because you want to gain access to the Chat GPT for model, and chances are that there's probably uh chance that you've not used it before all right or you've used it once or twice and you felt that it was good however in this video i'm going to break that down for you the chat gpt4 model is just a single model meanwhile the co-pilot uses the chat gpt4 llm which is called large language model and also the daily ai large language model so in combination this actually produces better outcomes all right now without further hassle and all that i'm going to show you my screen where you would clearly see for yourself the difference between these two i'm going to run a search all right on the two different ai and see what outcome they bring for us and you my friend will be the judge of which actually works well the fact that it is not named chat gpt4 does not mean it cannot actually do for you what chat gpt4 does however my friend after you're done watching this i need you to actually make a conclusion for yourself which you want to use so guys, as you can see, I currently have the ChatGPT 3.5 model, as you can see currently on my screen. And I also have the ChatGPT 4 model, all right, as you can see on my screen, clearly written here with the Delhi AI browsing and analysis using limits may apply on all that stuff, right? And also, I'm going to bring you here where you get to see how I use this, which is the co-pilot, all right? Now, I'm going to do something very simple on this three platform, which is very simple, all right? I'm going to perform the same search on the three different AI models, all right, and see what happens with them and the result they actually bring out for us. So first of all, I'm going to search for this. Is there any legislation for the production and export of plastic credit in Nigeria? So I'm just going to come here and click on search, all right? And I'm going to go to ChatGPT 3.5 model and also paste the same thing, click on search. And I'm going to go to my chat GPT4 model and also go, I'm going to paste the same thing and I'm going to click on search and then we're going to give them some time to actually see what they get to generate for us and see which is better. Now guys, I'm going to start with analyzing from the chat GPT 3.5 model. Now look at what the chat GPT 3.5 model gave us. The question was, is there any legislation for the production and export of plastic credit in Nigeria? And it kind of gave us all of this stuff. All right, which is not exactly bad in itself. All right, very cool. It says clearly here as of my last update in January 2022, which means it is limited. There is no such thing as chat GPT 3.5 model going beyond the three beyond the 2022 January um, dated time frame. All right. Now, let's see also what chat GPT 4 model actually did for us. Now, chat GPT 4 says as of 2024, this will simply mean that chat gpt4 also is limited because it can only go way back as 2024 now it gave us something very interesting here and of course it added a few references here and there uh, one of which is actually a newspaper in nigeria which is not exactly bad right but however guys come on with me to co-pilot and see what this is this is creating for me now it says certainly the new law on plastic waste management see how it's compartmentalized it it didn't just do that it added a reference to every single text right there is a reference here there is a reference here 
So even if you're copying this and trying to actually use this for any form of documentation, you know, write-up, you know, um, academic write-up or professional write-up, it comes with tailor-made references. So if you're not even willing to copy what it is giving you, you can actually just simply go to the reference, all right, read what the reference had to say about this and simply just actually create your content from the reference. This also gives us reference. It comes here to talk about the circular economy and its potential and also give reference here. So guys, you can see this gives very clear, detailed term of what you're asking for. And in my opinion, this is way better. If I'm going to either choose between this or this or this, I am definitely going to go for Copilot, which is the last one I just showed you guys. So guys, if I tell you very well that the chat GPT-4 model is good, however, the Copilot model is equally as good Please try and as much as possible to do your research before actually, um, you know, spilling it out there that I am actually giving false information. So it is simply the same thing or even a better version of the chat GPT-4 model, if you ask me. All right. Now that you've been able to see the comparison and see how the various or the two um, AI models actually work, now I feel like you're in a better position to actually choose for yourself which to work. Or if you still want to go ahead to pay your $20, that's fine for you. But for me, one thing is for sure. I am not going to pay another twenty dollars just to use the chat gpt4 model especially now that i know that the copilot seems to be a lot better and does the same tax and even kind of improves on it for me so i'm just going to stick to my copilot and not have to pay twenty dollars anymore because meanwhile i was using the copilot even before i actually got the chat gpt4 all i did was trying to you know what see how which is better if i could if i could just improve my productivity but having used the two all right interchangeably and simultaneously i have come to the conclusion that you know i would stick to the co-pilot so guys do what you want but one thing is for sure please do not think i misled you i told you the exact truth that you need to know